Keenan Hollander with Witnesses. This is Franklin. Oh, hi. Um, I was wondering if someone could help me with a question I had. Okay. Um, do you have a minute? Yes, ma'am. Oh, cool. Um, well, some of these like witnesses told me to like read the website and stuff. Have you ever heard of the website? Yes, I have. Okay, yeah, I was just doing some research, like starting from there. But um, yeah, I've been reading the Bible since I was like about ten, and um, I had always got the idea from like just reading the Bible that um, people can easily find salvation through you know the gift of God's grace in Christ that He is the all sufficient an all-complete Savior. But in the publications, um, it says that you won't survive. You need to follow, um, like, these guys that are in, like, New York, like, these seven, like, guys that, like, um, the governing body um, to to follow Christ. Yeah. It says if you follow them, you are following Christ. You can't – you have to obey them to have Jehovah's approval. I, I found oh, that in the yeah. publications. Yeah, oh, you mean like follow their com- their commands and stuff? Yeah, it says we need to obey the faithful and discreet slave. And those guys, like I found their names, like Stephen Lett, Jeffrey Jackson, Anthony oh, Morris, okay. to have Jehovah's approval. Not, <laughs> and that's really... I, I, understand. Right, and I understand what you're saying because that uh-huh. can be a little confusing. The faithful and discreet slave isn't... Um, it's not like, okay, here's seven people... And there's a faithful and discreet slave. It's not. That's how it's okay. defined now by the governing body. Well, and here's what the governing the governing body is those um because uh, at the time when it was mentioned, the um the governing body was mentioned the uh was talking about those that uh, God had chosen to go to heaven, so the anointed. Uh, um, and there's a there's 144,000 the Bible says that are, are going to heaven that have been chosen or are will be chosen to go to heaven. Um, and it's not like okay they say do this and this, but you know okay so you have to cut your hair this length. Okay you have to do this. Um, a lot of the information that is provided um, by the governing body or those that uh, is Bible based and they're provided to. Uh. Um, their deal is to provide food, at the, you know, spiritual food, um, spiritual guidance, and that's based off the Bible, not, okay, well, we say this, the information that you receive. Really? They seem to say a lot of Bible, things that are extra biblical. Like, they do talk about hair and beards and birthdays and all kinds of things, and they've even changed some of their spiritual food, like, 180 degrees, uh, you know, even recently. But, okay, you have to, what do you mean? The changes? Yeah. Oh, well, like, um, you can't receive... Jehovah is against blood fractions, so people died because of that. And now Jehovah is, is favorable to blood fractions. Um, the worship Jesus, now they don't allow worship Jesus. They worship Jesus for 70 years. That's a huge change. No, where did you... Um, I don't know where you got the worship Jesus for 70 mm-hmm. years. It's in their okay, original right. charter that the organization was formed for the worship of Jehovah and Jesus. And they taught it was proper to worship Jesus until about the same time they came out with the New World Translation, which is interesting, too. Um, now they call it um, idolatry. I don't know. Served Jesus for 70 years. I don't know where you where you got uh-huh. that from, but the oh. Bible doesn't mention that, and I've never... And I don't, so. <laughs> well, in Hebrews 1, yeah. it says, let all God's angels worship him. And they actually changed the word also in the New World Translation. The older versions of it do say worship, but um, you don't believe well, that they taught the worship of Jesus for 70 years? No. Oh, could I get the references together for you? Are, I mean, are you interested uh, in it? Or it doesn't matter? Um, I mean, I, I could do some research on that, but, you, you know, the wording in the Bible... Um, if you look at it and you you know words change over time so the same words um aren't going to be mean the same today as they did 20 years ago if you think about it in english language the meaning of words change all the time uh, if you take the word gay it no longer means happy it's a reference to someone who to a uh to a uh, male who has feelings toward another male um it didn't at one time so to change you know the definition changes so you change your, you have to change in order to be able to for once to understand what it means. I mean, you can't just 
Leave the oh, same you're, words and you, you think that's the neural translation only changes words um, be, to update them, kind of? Well, you change the. I mean, if you change, the, if you left it all the same, then the meaning is going to be different. Hmm. You understand? So that's why. Yeah, we, I, I just disagree. I've seen so many um, verses where they specifically change words to support their doctrine. It has more to do with that than updating of words. So I, I think that, well, you know, that's just from what I've kind of noticed in comparing them um, with other versions, even versions they use, like the King James, that's on their website. You know. Okay. So well, we'll um, have to agree to disagree on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, it, it's um, there's quotes uh, even in their original charter. It says for the worship of Jehovah and Jesus. They didn't make any distinction. You know, in John five, it says that we sh- we are to honor the Son as we honor the Father. So, um, yeah, Russell taught that. I I don't know if they had two gods then or or what, but you know Revelation five shows the heavenly scene worshiping the Father and the Lamb, giving Him praise, honor, glory, and and worship. Um, so, I mean, oh well. Get, to get back to what we were talking about, um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I I couldn't have ever. I mean, in the all these years of reading the Bible, almost every day, I was just wondering why. I never got the idea that my survival depends on associating with Jehovah's Witness organization, as they said in their publication. You know, it's Christ. It's it's kind of like it's taking the place of Christ. It says if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. For sure. Right. Yes, and I I, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, but he, he said that there's um, ones to associate and otherwise, but uh, you know, if you want, if you have more questions and you, you know, you want to learn more about what we believe. Yeah, know, I'm, I'm getting it from their own publications, so it's you know anybody can read them. I, I don't know why I would need you know what else do you need besides that? Because they're like the meat and do season, right? The publications. Say that again. Well, I mean. I can, you can find out about their beliefs from reading all the publications. So, what what more does somebody? Is there some other like source to like check out? Well, there is. I mean, if you have questions, there's. Mm-hmm. I mean, about what we believe, you can mm-hmm. look at. There's um, on the website. It, there's a, a link that takes you to that. Mm-hmm. Um, what do Jehovah's Witnesses believe? Oh, that yeah. frequently asked question thing. No, I don't use that. <laughs> They're, they're very misleading. I mean, they're they're kind of like PR for the public. Like, do you shun former members? No. Well, you know, do you refuse medical treatments to your children? Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, a newborn baby just died. Well, not the baby, the mom. The mom died in Canada. So they're actually being investigated for that, for undue influence. But, um, yeah, I had the frequently asked questions. Do you uh, have forbidden books? They absolutely do. Okay. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not going to... Are you, like, partially it. awake? You sound like maybe a, con- a little bit... Uh, are you uh, in the conscious class? Say what? Oh, okay. Well, there's a conscious class of people who go because they don't want to lose all their friends and family. Um, I just thought you sound like you might be one. No. Um, but, you know... Uh, this is it, it's going to turn into a, this discussion is going to turn into debate. I'm not gonna <gasps> debate. Doesn't it say to defend it? your faith no. in the Bible? But uh, what, how do, would you I defend your faith if you don't talk to an opposer? Well, you know, I'm not going to argue with you because right. Uh, well, they they certainly did that. The apostles before. certainly did that. Paul did that. He defended the faith using logic, but rhetoric. Defended, but he didn't. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate your. They use that for a thought stopping technique. But, they use that for I, a thought stopper. It's a thought stopper. You should think okay. about it. Hey, okay. check out uh, the website um, forjehovah.org with the number four. It's just Bible stuff. It's nothing like really bad. And uh, maybe you can get know that you are saved through Christ alone. Okay? Well, I appreciate it. Jesus your, loves you. Okay. Thank God, you. God bless.